All right guys, it's Josh from Green Ops and Spotter Up. Today I'm gonna show you how to clean dot torture. We're gonna do it from five yards. I'm gonna talk about a little bit about grip technique and trigger manipulation. So we've got our dot torture set at five yards. Uh, it's a 50 round drill. Each of the 10 dots is a different kind of string of fire. This is not intended to be a time drill. You do it at your own pace. The goal is to shoot it clean, all right? Once you can shoot it clean at three yards, you move it back to five yards. Once you shoot it clean at five yards, you move it back to seven yards and so on. <clears throat> Once it gets five yards and beyond, it starts getting pretty challenging. Uh, it's really, really good fundamental drills. It works reloads, it works one-handed shooting. Um, great for fundamentals. I highly recommend doing it occasionally. It's a good test, evaluate your current skill level. So. I'm going to do this with a CZ P10F. It's a stock gun. It's got a Trijicon SRO on it. So it's got a big old red dot, which does make this a little bit easier in my opinion. Although you can do it with irons just great. So, all right. <clears throat> First of all, you want to have a proper grip, all right, for this entire drill. Make sure your grip is solid and locked in, all right. High on the gun, fingers wrapped around, support hand, pinkies crushing, all right. If you have a good grip, then trigger manipulation is gonna be your next biggest concern. For this drill, you need to make sure you're not rushing your trigger press, that you're just taking up the slack until it breaks, all right? So for this drill, just like shooting a bullseye, which we'll talk about later, you need to be taking up the slack on your trigger, just taking up more slack, taking up more slack until it breaks, all right? Take up slack, take up slack, take up slack until it breaks. Take up more slack, take up more slack until it breaks. What you don't want is to get on the trigger and then say it needs to go off now because you'll end up squeezing the gun and moving it. All right? So watch what happens if I just apply more grip pressure on the gun. All right? So you want to not do that. All, right? All you're doing, cleanly manipulating the trigger, just taking up slack, taking up slack, and the gun shouldn't move. That's the key to shooting dot torture at any distance right there. So what I'm going to do is, dot number one is five shots, slow fire. So I'm going to dry fire this. All right, take my draw, one, two, three, four, five. All right. All right, guys, so dot one, five shots, slow fire. All right, you can see I didn't rush my shots, right? Just taking up slack on the trigger, not rushing it, taking up slack until it breaks. All right, ideally, they pretty much make one ragged hole at this distance. Dot number two. One shot from draw. All right. So I'll dry fire my draw a few times. All right. Your draw should be at the same speed that you normally do it. There's no reason to practice a slow draw. All right. Oops. But then don't rush your shot. All right. Five shots from holster. <clears throat> Draw one on three, one on four, four times. All right. So again, fast draw, right? Transition, but every shot is a slow, precise, focused trigger press.
circle five, strong hand only. Right. <clears throat> so, strong hand only, this would be a good one to dry fire a little bit a few times before you do it, especially if you're not practicing one handed. Right? You should dry fire this, making sure that when you break the trigger, Sights aren't moving. Right. Additionally, if you're running a dot within six, seven yards, you're going to have to hold the dot high on the circle for offset. Right. Five shots, strong hand. Goggles are fogging up. Draw two on six, two on seven. So it's just like three and four, except now it's two shots. So now again, right? After the shot, you're gonna reset the trigger, take a nice focused trigger press. Just take up the slack and don't rush the trigger press. How many was that? Four. That was all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Circle number eight. Five shots, weak hand only. All right? Again. This would be a great one to dry fire if you're not used to shooting one-handed. If you're not timing this drill, take breaks if you need to. Rest your hands, rest your arms, rest your eyes. Dry fire them. All right? Especially if you're not used to doing this. All right? Dry fire it until the sights are not moving when the trigger breaks. It'll pay dividends when you shoot it live. Four. All right. Now the last drill involves a reload. It's draw, one shot on nine, speed reload, one shot on 10. So I need some ammo in this other mag. And I have just enough rounds to do this. I'm gonna do this one three times. Actually, we'll do it from a slide lock reload. So, one round in the gun, empty mag, slide lock reload. <clears throat> bang, reload, bang. So after the reload, it's important that you come back to a proper grip and make sure you take a smooth trigger press with good sight alignment on that second shot. People have a tendency to throw this first shot after we re reload, so. <clears throat> nice 
bobbled reload there, but that's okay. <clears throat> After the reload, I really wanted to rush that trigger press. So I had to tell myself to make sure I took that precise shot. One more. saw there was a hesitation at that last shot because I knew I knew that if I just broke the trigger it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be I had to make sure the sight settled and make sure I took up the slack took up the slack and broke a clean shot so it's a long video kind of but that's what it takes to clean dot torture a lot of focus patience clean trigger presses right it's the same skill that you need when you're shooting a bullseye at 25 yards for instance uh, and we'll get, do another video about that so Thanks for watching, guys. Hit me up if you have any questions.